everyone you welcome back to my youtube channel today sewing with sewing and today we're going to be making an off shoulder blouse quickly we're going to be using our patterns our pattern for making our bustier blouse okay we're going to be using this this is for the front this is for the front here we're going to be using this this shows our bust our upper under bust half length blouse length and this is our back our center back and our side back we're going to be using these patterns to make our lace off shoulder blouse if you want to know how we got these patterns please just go to one of the previous videos in on my channel and you will get to see the video there how we got about making these patterns Here we're going to be putting our satin fabric on these pattern papers we're going to trace them out so now i have traced out all these patterns this is the back i've traced it onto the satin this is the back left and back front this is the back left back right okay and this is the front here the front is still on the pattern paper okay i'm going to take it off i've removed this from there i use pins to hold it down so this is the front this is the center front okay this is the center front here okay and this is the center side i'm going to remove it sorry the front the sense the side this is the front the side front okay so what i'm going to be doing is this is cloth gum okay it has it's it, it has a bit of gum it has gum at the end of it and i'm going to iron it to the back of this satin this satin is going to be the underlay of the lace so i'm going to iron it on and when i iron it on i'm also going to be placing this satin underneath the lace so i'm going to be cutting the lace also to this measurement of satin i'll do that but first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to iron this on and i'm going to come back and show you so i have gone so i have gone ahead to iron the cloth gum at the back of my pieces that is my satin pieces i've gone ahead i've ironed it this is the front this is for the front okay the front bodies and this is for the back bodice okay you can see this is the reverse side of it and this is the front side of it so what i'm going to be basically doing is that i'm going to be joining these so i'm going to be joining the front okay to the front the center front to the side front okay to create the bust here i'm also going to be joining the back side to the back front okay to create the bust here after i've created the bust here and i have cut out the excesses okay that's when i'm now going to put the lace i'm going to join put this lace on top of this fabric i'm going to be using a special type of gum to attach it there but the main thing now is that i'm going to attach join these two and so let's just go ahead let me go and join it on my machine and bring it back for you to see so i've joined the front i use temporary stitches okay to join up the front this is the bust part here the bust part here okay as you can see i've joined the front so i'm going to turn it to the inner side so that i'll be able to mark out and mark out the off shoulder okay what i'm going to cut off from it so this is the bust i folded it into two this is the back also the back left side the back right side okay this is it here this is the zipper side right about here and this is the shoulder this is the zipper side here so i'm going to turn it inside out this is our zipper side here right here so i'm going to start with the front so our off shoulder depends on how much you want basically for off shoulders you can come down from five inches from the neck from the shoulder point you can come down five inches to get your marking here it depends on how low you want it to be i don't want it to be too low because i just want it to start right on the the tip of the shoulder so i'm going to bring it down by five inches and i'll mark so now i'm going to do my marking this is my five inches here okay i'm going to mark it all across I hope you can see 
I'm gonna mark it all across so this is my five inches right here okay so I want it also to have like a sweetheart cut so I'll bring it down I'll come down maybe about one inch here or half an inch okay and curve it I can use my curved ruler okay to give it that sweetheart cut as you can see it here okay I've come down by half an inch here so I'm gonna just curve it up here it depends on how deep you want it to be I don't want this mine to be too deep so I just come here and give it the sweetheart cut and I cut this off all the way to the end I hope we can all see it okay just all the way here remember I said this is our front and it's also the front left and the front back the front left and the front right okay and I've joined it with temporary stitches so I'm not going to trim it off okay so we have this here So at this place now, now I want to create my armhole. I want to create my armhole. And from here, we can see that this is our bust point here. Where I notched here. Remember I always say we should notch. And this is our bust point here. So we'll just draw a straight line. So basically what I use, this is my bust line here. My bust point here. So what I use is two inches before the bust line before the bust line that is where i start my cuts from two inches up here and i come here also i don't want it to be more i want it to rest on my shoulder it's going to rest on my shoulder so we're going to be doing a little calculation here okay before to get the we're going to be doing a little calculation here to get the shoulder point where we're going to cut our line our shoulder our round shoulder okay my round shoulder is 44 okay and my my armhole left armhole to right armhole is 11 inches okay armhole to armhole is 11 inches okay and you remember the front and the back so that means that the part between the front and the back that's times two and that's 22 inches so that means around my round around my shoulder i've taken off 22 inches so what is left here is going to be 44 inches minus 22 inches and that gives us 11 inches that means from this side to this side I have 11 inches to play with and that is where I'm going to be putting my band okay that's going to hold up the two sides the front and the back so the the length of the band is 11 inches remember that it is for the two sides so I'm going to be dividing sorry it's 22 inches 44 inches minus 22 inches is 22 inches but I'm going to be dividing it into two because I have left and right so each band each band is going to be 11 inches long okay and that band is what I'm going to be fixing right here so I'm going to calculate where I'm going to be placing my band remember I said from one armhole to the other armhole is 11 inches so I'm going to be measuring five and a half inches okay right here five and a half inches that means that my band is meant to start from here but if i start it from here it's going to be short so i'm going to be adding half an inch for sewing cutting and sewing allowance so my band is going to start from here so i'm going to connect this place here to these two inches above my armhole i'm uh, sorry above my bust point for the armhole and that is what i'm going to do with a straight ruler and that's going to give me I'm going to be connecting it here and this one is what I shall be cutting off so that it shall rhyme 
with this place. It shall rhyme with the armhole. So I'll just trim that off. Good. So now I'm going to go ahead. Okay, so we can see our front bustier is ready. If you can see it, it is ready. It's as easy as ABC. So I'm going to go to the back also and do the same. The same way I cut the front is the same way I'm going to cut the back. I'm going to come down by five inches. I'm also going to calculate this place five and a half. That makes 11 here plus half inches six. That makes 12 inches from one side of the armhole to one side of the armhole to the other side of the armhole and cut off the one for the armpit. So that means that this is where my band is going to start from, from right here to right here. This is where my band is going to start from. So I'll cut the back also and I'll come back to show us. So I have cut out the back also, the back pattern, as I said, we removed five inches from the top and shaped the armhole the same way as the front part. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take apart, because I sewed this down with temporary stitches, I'm going to take it apart and lay my lace on top of it. I'm going to take it apart this material this one okay i sewed it as i told you i sewed them with temporary stitches okay so i'm going to take it apart iron it back flat out because i've already gotten the pattern and how much i want to use and i'm now going to put my lace fabric on top using my uhu glue so now i have trimmed out all the laces i have trimmed them out on the pattern now okay so you see i cut them double double with this method now we reduce the wastage of lace okay you use minimal lace so i'm going to turn it to the right side now okay and this is what i'm going to do i'll put it here i'll put my lace like this and i'll stick down using my glue okay i'm going to use my glue okay this glue is very good for it and I'll just put it on the places where it won't show. Maybe on all these black, black places. Okay, I'll put my glue there. I'll just put my glue on all these black, black places. I'm still going to sew it. But just so that it will not shift while sewing. And it makes it neater. On all these black, black places where the glue won't show. You just put it on places which are cos not conspicuous. Okay. And I come and lay the right side to right side okay right side to right side and I put that outside okay and I'm still gonna come after doing this after putting this aside I'm still going to come around and trim put the notch for the for the bust points and trim off everything here I'm done with that one and now I come here put glue just a dab, just dabs of glue on the black spots, on the black places where it will not show. I left a few inches, okay, more when I was cutting out the lace so that it would be easy for me to trim it out, if you can see. Okay, I'm done with that one. Then I come to the center front, I open it up. So I'm done applying the glue now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim off all the excess. I'm going to trim off all the excess before joining and put all my notches, okay? So just watch me while I trim off. So just like I explained earlier, okay, we have, I've joined the lace, I've joined the front, 
and the back okay i've joined the front and the back so now what i want to be doing now is to attach this is the bus side as you can see this is the bus tier here so i want to join the back okay i want to join the band and i have gone ahead to cut out my band just like i explained earlier on my band is 11 inches long it's 11 inches long and it's three inches wide because i'm going to be fixing on a sleeve onto this part but remember from the front to the back the way i calculated it is that it is 11 inches long okay so this is going to be the inner part of it this this um, sealed edge here what i just did was i put the satin underlay i put the satin underlay on it and before i fix the lace this side is going to be out here this place is going to be in out um this place is going to be on my shoulder part this is where i'm going to be fixing my sleeve this rough edge is where i'm going to be fixing my sleeve so i come to where i have marked i already measured it out before don't forget i said from one side of my armhole to another i'd marked it out here okay i'd marked it out here and i got 12 inches okay plus half an inch for sewing allowance on both sides which makes it 11 inches so i come here and this is where i place this one and it ends just around here so i have to fix this first before i fix my lining so i'm just going to come this way front side to front side i pin it down this one is fixed here then i come to this side here and do the same thing to it i'll fix it and i'll come back and show you just before i fix my lining so for the back i'm going to this is the back side of the blouse remember that this is the back side and this is the zip allowance that we use when we're constructing it i left one and a half zip one and a half inches of for the zip allowance from this one and a half i'm not going to be taking my six inches that i took in front so this is where at this point here this is where i'm going to be connecting this is where i'm going to be putting my own the band for the back okay i'm going to align it here the band for the back so i just wanted to show us from this six inches here all the way to where the three inches ends right here okay let me go and fix that and come back and show us so now i'm done with sewing down the two the two bands the sleeves okay the band for the sleeves i'm done with sewing down two of them so now i just want to show us how to attach the front line the the lining to the main blouse itself so you come here push down this one push down the sleeves okay take the center point of the blouse here okay i've already joined the lining you can see the lining has been joined the front and the back so to make your work look very neat you just come and start from here you can pin down okay pin all the way down make sure the lining is inside i'm sorry the band is inside okay and pin all the way down all the way down okay you pin it all the way down and go and sew it down till we get to the end here then we go back and we sew everything down when i'm done with sewing i'll come back and i'll show you thank you very much if you watch to the end of this video to this point here thank you very much please subscribe to our channel share this share this video like it drop comments for me and i'll see you soon